Good morning, my friends. It is Sunday morning on the seventh week of the quarantine, the third week of Easter, and I'm here, Kate, your Dean, at the rising of the sun with St. Francis, Jesus, Mary and the baby, and the resurrection candle. Yesterday, someone that I love sent me some tulips and they're just beginning to open. I want to show them to you. Aren't they beautiful? The two in the front look a little bit like fire as they're opening with orange and yellow. I want to talk to you this morning about burning which is one of the things that happens in our hearts when we feel the presence of God or when we are deeply in love. When the disciples were walking on the road to Emmaus and Jesus starts walking beside them, but they don't know that it's Jesus, uh, he starts talking to them about the scriptures because they're grieving Jesus's crucifixion. And he reminds them of how the Messiah was supposed to suffer and die and how this was foretold and while he's talking they begin to feel this burning in their hearts they would later say didn't our hearts burn within us when he was talking to us on the road have you ever been in a class where the professor is unveiling a new idea and and all of a sudden it resonates with you and it's almost like you start to be lit on fire by it as Pentecost approaches, we hear these themes that start to be weave, weaving through the Gospels about the Holy Spirit and the presence of God with us and about inspiration, which comes from inspiritus, and about this burning, this fire that makes us feel alive, lit on fire, like being in love when you feel so much it's like everything in your body is alive. Didn't our hearts burn inside of us as he was talking to us on the road? To feel God's presence deeply is to begin to be more alive, to burn with life and with love itself. It is to be lit on fire. Let us pray. Almighty God, as these days stretch on, we ask you to ignite a fire within us, something deep and rich and profound that gives us new purpose, new ideas, a fire that connects the dots and brings us closer to you. We ask you to continue to bless all those who are on the front lines fighting this virus, to comfort and bring peace and healing to those who are sick, guidance and wisdom to our government and to the governments of all the world. Lord, fire burns, but brings light. Help us to be ignited in you and to find new perspective in this time. In the name of the risen Christ, amen. Have a great day.